looks like some late 70s, early 80s, like Brittany says. If you want a Maserati, you gotta work or know a guy with a junkyard in his backyard that just likes to collect multiples of everything. Yes, I know you're saying at home, these are the best looking cars Maserati ever made to date. But you are actually wrong. These things are by far the ugliest, I have to say in my opinion. But hey, with that sweet little logo, you can get any chick you want. She might not have teeth, but you can still get one. All right, here we go. We got an old hit and miss with a generator attached to it. We're at an old junkyard, ran by a towing company. Just doing a quick video on all the little goodies they got going over here. Got some farm implements. Looks like the Panda and old Volkswagen. There's about a 1925 Chrysler frame for a car, six cylinder flathead. Wood spokes, still got the old brass radiator. This piece right here, I do not know what it is. Some kind of heavy rock truck from the 20s. It's got an aftermarket, aftermarket radiator. Here's a little overview of the place. All right, here are some really rare, at least for the United States. These are early, I'm guessing 50s, maybe 40s, Austin Champs. You're probably thinking, no, 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 they're Jeeps. No, these are made by the Austin Company, and they were military vehicles. And look, there's five of them here, just sitting here. Super rare. So no, these are not Toyotas, these are not Jeeps. Look at the dash on that. Oh, that is a piece right there. As you can see, they're all right-handed steers. Look at the front ends on this. Actually, it looks like these are gear reduction front ends. Didn't even know that. Now that is very rare. That's, that's up there with the uh, Mercedes Unimogs. Very interesting. All right, here's an interesting piece. It's 50s, maybe late 40s, but I believe it's a mid 50s international harvester pickup truck. Yeah, it's probably about a 53, 54 actually. It's got no engine. Over here at my buddy's wrecking yard. Next to it, you got an old flathead DeSoto, four door, early 50s. Probably 53, could be totally off. Over here, looks like a Chevy. 50s, early 50s. Looks like it's got some, uh, some story to it. Looks like it could probably be a race car. Doubt it. It's got a little thing to it. Got a derby car. Very interesting. Here's another gem, AMC Rambler. 
This is a rare car right here. Rare for two reasons. Not too many people wanted them because they were ugly. And the Rambler Corporation did not last but a few decades. Look at that. Very nice. About a 1972 Chevy Impala wagon. Looks like we got two of them back here. Looks like we got a little a double of everything out here. Dang. Never know what's hiding in your neighbor's backyard.